Ed, thank you. Joining thank us you. now with reaction, John Bolton, who's a former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations and a Fox News contributor. Ambassador, thanks for being here. What do you make of this? The senior, a secret letter to the Ayatollah, a man who has said Zionist officials cannot be called humans. They're like animals. And the Israeli regime is doomed to annihilation. Well, par for the course for the Obama administration. The negotiation with Iran over its nuclear weapons program uh, is a policy of appeasement. Uh, and the president is desperate to get this deal done so it doesn't slip between his fingers. Uh, this letter about cooperation in fighting ISIS uh, is just another piece of it. The policy is doomed to failure. The president doesn't understand it. Uh, but I, I am very worried that th this deal on the nuclear program is going to be signed this month. I know that you're an expert on this, but for those who don't follow it as closely as you do, explain why people should be troubled about the, the American president saying to Iran's leader, hey, let's, let's team up to fight ISIS, a terror army, and by the way, why don't you sign this deal we sent you for you to slow down at least your nuclear arsenal? Well, on the nuclear deal, uh, leaving any uranium enrichment capability in the hands of this regime in Tehran is an invitation for them to break out into a nuclear weapons capability. There is no negotiation with a regime like this. The notion of cooperating against ISIS sounds superficially appealing, but the fact of the matter is our differences with Iran uh, are far greater than any common interest regarding ISIS. In this Middle East, which is descending into chaos, Iran remains American. America's principal adversary. And while we certainly have to deal with ISIS, we don't want to do anything that bolsters the regime in Tehran or its satellite regime in Baghdad. So the president's wrong on both halves of the letter. What, if any, harm are we doing with respect to our allies? Apparently, we did not tell, hence the word secret, uh, Israel, Saudi Arabia, uh, or the UAE about the, these communications. This is apparently the, the fourth of four letters that President Obama has sent to Khomeini. Well, I think we are mistreating our Arab friends in the in the region very badly. You know, they don't want Iran to get a nuclear weapon any more than Israel does. We we have more commonality between Israel and the Sunni Arab states in their concern about Iran's nuclear weapons program than almost any other issue. Uh, the fact the president writes secret letters, that's what presidents do. That's how you conduct diplomacy. That's what Alexander Hamilton meant in Federalist Number 70 when he talked about the unique advantages of the executive. Let's not get hung up on process points. It's the deal with Iran over the nuclear weapons program that's bad. It's the idea of cooperating with Iran against ISIS that's the bad idea. So I realize that you clearly don't like it. Do you think it's likely? Do you think there's any chance Iran agrees? Well, there are new reports even this evening of further concessions uh, by the administration on the nuclear weapons deal. I think they're desperate for something. I think, I think the president wants his Neville Chamberlain piece of paper where he can proclaim peace for our time in the Middle East. Uh, I think that's the danger of zeal for the deal that has overwhelmed the White House and the State Department. Uh, and I think that uh, the, the odds are right now the deal will be signed and that Iran will have an open path to nuclear weapons. How exactly does it provide them with an open path to nuclear weapons? You know, the administration says, look, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stop their uranium enrichment program uh, in many ways. And it's, it, they'll say it's the biggest breakthrough we've had with Iran in decades. Right. So did Neville, Neville Chamberlain after Munich, because, uh, number one, there's no guarantee that the verification mechanisms that are required are going to work. Do you really think we know everything about Iran's nuclear weapons program, like whether some of it's being conducted in North Korea? I have no faith in our verification capabilities, number one. Number two, to the extent Iran is allowed any continuing uranium enrichment capability at all, and that's where the administration's concessions are moving. It has in its hands the long pole in the tent that any aspiring nuclear weapon state wants. I wouldn't trust that regime with a spare electron, let alone thousands and thousands of centrifuges. But that's where the administration has been going for six years of negotiation. It's only a question of how many more concessions Iran can squeeze out of the White House before they sign the deal. It's incredible when you when you look at you know what they've written in a, in a top advisor to Kemi, uh, Khomeini put on on the government website. This is sanctioned by the government. Uh, jurisprud jurisprudential justification to kill all the Jews and annihilate Israel. Uh, and so those are the folks with whom we are potentially cooperating. Ambassador Bolton, thank you for being here.